So over the last few weeks, we have journeyed together as we've explored the adventures of dates and times in R, how to turn time series data into a time series object that can then be imported into a variety of different functions uh, for exploration. We've learned about the different time scales that can be embedded in, in a time series. We've also explored how the information from the past can be correlated with what's gonna happen in the future. And now we're going to start to pull these concepts together to model time series. We're gonna start our time series modeling part of the adventure by using something called a, an ARIMA model. ARIMA models are not widely used in ecology, but they are widely used in some other areas of study, and in particular uh, to do things like forecast economic data. You will see them used quite a bit. So let's ease into thinking about ARIMA models by returning to our old friend white noise. We generated last week a white noise time series. This is uh, an image of it. And we made this signal by defining a distribution with a mean value and a standard deviation of one. And we pulled randomly values from this distribution. So at, at our first time step, we pulled a value. And then for our next time step, we pulled a value. And we did this 273 times or something like that um, to generate this time series right here. Generating a time series this way results in a unique signal, which is this white noise signal, where each one of our observations is not correlated with anything that happened in the past. There is no autocorrelation structure in this time series. And as you might remember, we confirmed that by looking at the lag plots and looking at the ACF plot for this, uh, this data set. But this is still a time series, and we can model this time series with the following equation, where we have y sub t equals a constant plus the error at time t. And so this is mathematically modeling what we did. It's saying that as we generate each observation at time t, so this is our observed value, we do so by pulling from a constant. And that value gets modified by an error term. And the value of that error can change over time. But whatever error value we pull at time t, it is not in and of itself a function of time. It is simply a random pull from a distribution that has a certain mean and a certain standard deviation. By writing the white noise process this way, what we have done is create the simplest version of a time series model. It might not be one that we find very interesting, but it's still a time series model. And we can take this model and fit it to data and see how it performs. So we're gonna bounce over to R. We're gonna see how this model fits to both our white noise time series and to our NDVI time series. And then we'll come back because it's not gonna be very satisfying. And we'll talk about how this equation gets modified to make it an ARIMA model that will give us more interesting dynamics.